Hello guys, in this video we will see how to set up PostgreSQL 17 on AWS RDS. Connect to AWS console and click on services then search for RDS. Click on this RDS service. See DB instances 0 which means I don't have any DB instance. To create new DB instance click on databases or click on db instances then click on create database then here we have two methods standard create method and easy create method we are going with standard create method then select the engine select postgresql if you scroll down click on this drop down at the bottom we have the postgresql 17.2 this is the latest version at the time of making this video select it Then select the templates, production, dev, test and free tier. Free tier is free to use. Okay. And for production and dev, we have to pay. So for this demo purpose, I am going with free tier eligible. Okay. Then if you select free tier, see this availability, durability options are grayed out. Okay. And provide the name for the DB instance identifier. I am giving AWS PG 17 to and this is the master username and then credential management self manage it then provide the password for the this postgres user so i am giving password and see here minimum constraint for the password is, is password is must contain at least eight printable ascii characters and cannot contain any of these letters so, okay so don't give this forward slash single double quote or at signs okay then instance configuration see only these two instance types are available for free tier eligible customers both are same select either of them then storage mm -hmm. i'm going with general purpose ssd gp2 and Allocated storage, you can give up to 6144 gigabytes. I'm going with list that is 20 gigabytes. Then compute resource and network type, I'm not going to change. And create new VPC for this AWS RDS for PostgreSQL. Public access, select S. Then availability zone remaining options. I'm not going to change. Click on additional configuration. See the default port for process equal is 5432. Authentication I'm going with password authentication. But we have the option like password and IAM and password and Kibbos authentication. Remaining options I'm not going to change. Additional configuration if you want to create database, you can provide here or you can create database once. AWS RDS PostgreSQL setup is completed. If you are okay with the, all these settings, then click on create database. Wait until the status to be running or available. Refresh. See. Engine type is PostgreSQL. And we, this is the EPC information. At the moment, it will populate all this information. Okay, this may take five to ten minutes. Click on this DB identifier. See, status is still creating. Once it is created, we will get this endpoint and port number. With this endpoint, we will connect to PostgreSQL server. If you want to see the credentials, you have to click on View Credential Details. See, successfully created database. Also, it has populated endpoint and port number 5432. Okay. But status is configuring enhanced monitoring. Okay. So, okay. So, copy this endpoint and connect to PostgreSQL. We can connect by using pgadmin or dbver or psql client. If you have installed psql client on your machine, then we can connect to PostgreSQL. I have already installed pgadmin. If you want to install pgadmin or dbr on your machine, then go through the links provided in the video description and install them. Now click on add new server or right click and select register then server both are same. Then give 
any name aws rds 70 name can be anything in connection tab paste that endpoint see this is the endpoint just click on this copy endpoint then port number 5432 that maintenance database postgres username also postgres then provide the password that we have given when if you forgot click on view connection date then we will be able to find the password information now click on save this will give error i will show you the error and resolution see unable to connect to server connection time dot expired okay so it is expected click on this security group then click on security group id click on inbound rules then click on edit inbound rules then click on add rule then set the poster sql see here we have the poster sql and port number okay ip select the my ip or you can give this your ip range click on save rules successfully created a rule now go to key admin just edit some some option then click on save now you will be able to connect see we have successfully connected expand it expand databases see here we have these databases see for aws rds we will get this aws rds admin in users also we will get the see rds users see users on groups okay now create a database right click select create then database then provide the database name r to schools and click on select the owner and click on save see new database is there this is the one way to connect to post sql by using pg admin for the other method is db ever db ever click on it click on this new database connection then select the post sql click on next here host name we have to give the endpoint go back yeah, rds instances click on the instance copy endpoint go to db work paste here database name after schools show all databases username postgres then provide the password then click on test connection see successfully connected to postgres equal version number 17 dot i forgot to show you click on finish expand connection expand databases see here we have these databases if you want to verify version of the postgres sql that we have installed right click on any database then select the query tool then run the select version put semicolon select the entire text and click on this execute button see we have installed postgres sql 17 okay here also we can verify right click select sql editor then open sql console now run select version click on this execute button see we have installed see we got the same output okay you can also connect by using psql client okay i have already installed psql client on my machine in the server name we have to give this endpoint paste it hit enter database after schools port number same username postgres same then provide the password of this user see we have successfully connected let us verify select version see we have successfully connected to postgres equal 17 dot okay now we will create a table in this database create table student backslash dt is the command see we have one table you can also verify expand database after schools schemas public 
then tables see here we have one table you can also verify the same expand database schemas public tables see here we have the table after schools okay let us insert some data into this table insert into Let us verify the data. See, we have this data. We can also get the same output from here. Select star from student. Select the query and click on execute. See, we got the same data. Here also we will get the same. Select star from student, select the query and click on execute. See, we got three rows. Okay. The last option that I am going to show you is if you want to restart, select actions, then reboot. Or if you want to stop temporarily, you have to click on stop temporarily. Then you have to click on stop temporarily. If you want to delete permanently, you have to click on delete. See, if you are not using this anymore, it is better to delete because AWS charges are based on the uses. Okay, so I am not going to delete, just I want to show you. So, in this video, we have seen how to set up PostgreSQL 17 on AWS RDS. For more AWS and PostgreSQL tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.